Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's money maker we'll be taking a look at catching monkfish. Now the one big requirement for this is the completion of the swan song quest. Besides that you want to make sure you have the fishing requirement for it which is 62 but 80 is recommended. So for the gear setup it's very simple. All we need is our angler's outfit for some more XP. If you don't have this then don't worry about it. I'm also bringing my banner to teleport directly to the spot but also you don't need this. I'll show you different ways to get there. Rod is blessing if you have it any level definitely bring it because it gives you a chance of catching two fish at once. It doesn't give you any extra XP, but it's extra money. And then of course a small fishing net to catch the monkfish. So if we use the teleport on the banner, it'll take us directly to the area. If you don't have that, then you can just use fairy rings, use the fairy ring code AKQ, and then you can run over here, go under the little hole under the fence, and then go through here and then you'll make your way into the Piscatorius fishing colony. Now from this spot, all you gotta do is run north, and there's a couple of monkfish spots right here. As for banking, you can talk to Arnold, or you can use the bank deposit box right there. Also, I didn't mention this before, but if you don't have level 99 fishing, you can also bring the dragon harpoon for its special attack, which will boost your fishing level. But since we're already 99, it has no effect here. The only places where boosts above 99 come into effect with equipment is in the skilling guilds. So the fishing guild, the woodcutting guild, places like that. I think I stayed here until I had the ability to fish sacred eels, so I was here for a while. Now the wiki did say that you can catch about 290 raw monkfish per hour, so we'll see how much we can get in this one hour with our nice perks. Especially the rod is blessing. Also, I know I've been gone for quite some time. People have been asking where I am since I haven't uploaded in quite a while. I've just been busy, uh, IRL, as of late. So um, yeah, I, nothing happened to me. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I do have some plans for future videos. The only thing is that these other videos that I'm thinking about are going to be... They're going to take a, a lot longer to make just because of what I have planned out for them. But I think they'll be worth it. Um, I, I especially want to mess around with the whole editing thing and do some cool edits like I did for that one Hydra and giant mole video that I did. Yeah, so I think when I have more time, I'll definitely work on those in the background. But um, once I start working on those, I'll probably start making less videos just because they're going to take up a good amount of time. Unless I just throw in like one of these videos every now and then where I do an hour of a certain activity. But I think the main focus will be on those new videos that I have planned. So a thought just occurred to me as a as they normally do when I'm doing these videos. Um, so I'm using the bank deposit box to deposit my fish. And I find it kind of funny that I just throw my raw fish from the sea into that box. And somehow they know that it's mine, you know? There's plenty of people throwing fish in there, but they know which ones are mine. And they know exactly how many to put into my bank account, which is kind of funny. Um, I like to think that there's a banker that goes there, you know, every night and collects all the stuff and then takes it to the bank. But um, honestly, it might just be a RuneScape thing. It might be through the power of magic. They know what fish belongs to who. And when you put it in there, it just teleports to your bank. That seems more likely because, you know, you have instant access as soon as you put it in there, you know. If it was like a nightly thing where the bank guy would go over there and check it every night, then it would take a while to get there. But at least it'd be more real. But who am I kidding? This is this is a fantasy game. I mean, come on. Thanks for stopping by. Another uh, segment of random thoughts brought to you by the guy currently fishing monkfish. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on over here? Oh, I have to go to the magical box. I'm gonna miss the fight. I have to hurry up. Just minding my own business. See, I thought this place was peaceful. I thought everyone was just chilling, you know, catching fish. Enjoying the nice sea breeze, and uh, there's a fight going on over here. Okay. I'm not sure who started the fight, but um, it's over now. There's another fight going on. It's a different person this time. 
What are the chances? It hasn't even been that long. Who's gonna win this one? Okay, big hits coming from Cheek Raider. <laughs> Love the name. If I wanted to be truly efficient, I'd probably go run over there and pick up those bones and then bury them. Gotta get that prayer XP wherever you can. We managed to get a Clue Bottle Elite. I'd say it's pretty rare. Now, I know people are gonna say, or people are gonna say in the comments or ask in the comments, why didn't you do the Clue? I'm saving them for Masters. I'm very close to finishing off the 100 Masters, so. Once I finish those, then I'll start doing any clues I get for these uh, videos. Eight seconds, are we gonna get that last fish? Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? And no, it did not happen, unfortunately. Well, we managed to catch 325 monkfish in this one hour, so definitely not bad. Actually, oh, hold on, we caught more. It was 349. I guess it doesn't count the uh, times where you get two fish at once. Okay, even better. 73k from this one hour, not bad. It seems like it's definitely gone down a bit over the years, but um, it's still a good fishing method. So here we are at the GE. I'm gonna put him in there for, we'll put him in there for the actively traded price, 209. And oh, they sold instantly. Okay. So 73,290 GP from one hour of fishing monkfish. Not the craziest amount of money. I think we actually made more money <laughs> with the last video just picking up fish, but here at least we get some nice fishing XP. I believe we got about 40,000 fishing XP, which is a pretty nice amount. Especially when you consider the fact that this method really isn't that click intensive. It's very chill, very AFK, and um, yeah, pretty nice. So again, after this one hour, we did manage to get 73,290 GP. And since we didn't have to spend any money on supplies, that is just complete profit that we see. And also here's a look at the total amount of XP that we got from this one hour, about 40,000 XP. Keep in mind, we did have the angler's outfit, which does give us a little bit of bonus XP as well. So I'd say this is still a pretty good fishing method. The money isn't too great, but if you're just here for the XP, then that little bit of money that comes in doesn't hurt either. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.